Now let's get into uh, the Neato Amazon integration. And I guess this integration has been designed to make it uh, quick and easy for you to uh, publish your products uh, on the Amazon uh, marketplace. So as an all-in-one retail management platform, a core part of our offering is marketplace management and our Amazon Australia integration allows you to effectively and efficiently manage all of your Amazon Australia information from within uh, your Neto control panel. So with Neto, you can create and maintain your Amazon listings rather than having to log into Amazon Seller Central. Um, you can view and manage uh, your Amazon orders um, and payments and uh, information related to those orders. And you can obviously process and fulfill your Amazon orders using the same process as your other sales channels using the same uh, shipping options and finally you can really centralize your inventory management so if you're selling on amazon in addition to other sales channels um, your e-commerce store perhaps or another marketplace then you'll want to be able to manage your inventory in one place so Neto allows you to set buffers for exactly what you sell on each channel so that you don't even uh, or ever run out of stock and this is really important in particular uh, for amazon because you can be penalized for out of stock items meaning your seller rating will drop and uh, you'll be much less likely to win the buy box and, and ultimately be a successful retailer. But at the end of the day, it does come down to customer experience. You want to make sure that what you're saying you have in stock is always um, and readily uh, available. So basically, this is what it um, looks like. Um, from Amazon, you're gonna have sales orders, customer information, related payments flowed through to Neto. And from Neto, we're gonna push up to Amazon your product information, your stock availability. And once you do ship an order using uh, Neto's fulfillment solution, uh, we will push up uh, shipping tracking uh, information. So in a nutshell, uh, that's what it looks like. So currently, I guess, listing to Amazon is done via Seller Central, and it's been that way uh, with Neto since uh, Amazon launched here in Australia. I um, mean, you can do this by either adding products one by one through the Seller Central control panel, and this can take you know a few minutes to do per product, or you can bulk upload your products via a spreadsheet um, into Amazon. And, and, and what I'm talking about here is, is products that are not yet you know registered in the Amazon uh, catalog. And as you might know, if you're, you're already an Amazon seller or you've attempted to be one, you know, the spreadsheet can be quite complex, um, especially if you've got a large number of categories spread across uh, a large number of products, rather spread across a large number of categories. And the feedback that we've been getting from some bar retailers is that this process is what is preventing them from increasing the number of items that they have listed on the Amazon marketplace. So what we've done with our integration is cut this time down to around 10 minutes to register hundreds or even thousands thousands of products uh, from your Neto control panel in bulk. And ultimately, this allows you to bypass these complex spreadsheets or manual ways of listing and negates the need uh, for you to do one by one you know, product uploads. Uh, so the next part of this um, webinar, I guess, is going to be a live demonstration of exactly how you can set up uh, an Amazon seller account from within Neto and then how you can register and maintain uh, your Amazon uh, listings or products. So from within your, um, you should be able to see my screen again now and you should be able to see uh, an example Neto control panel. Uh, so from within your Neto control panel, uh, you'll notice that there is a Amazon Australia uh, link on the left hand side. You can also add Amazon as a sales channel uh, through our add-on store by clicking on this uh, plus icon. If I click on into this link, um, you'll uh, receive a, a splash page that ultimately explains uh, the integration and how to get started. Before you do get started uh, with integrating your Neto account with Amazon Australia, uh, you must uh, set up an Aust Amazon Australia seller account. And Brittany talked a little bit about that earlier uh, today. Um, and you can click uh, through that link uh, to do that. Uh, once you've uh, done that, the next thing uh, you want to do is, is start the Amazon Australia setup. I'm actually going to go through the wizard with you now um, and just show you how quick and easy it is to actually register your products with Amazon. So um, you'll first need to enter your Amazon seller ID and your marketplace web services authentication token. And there's instructions on how to get these from your Amazon seller account. The next step 
will be to define some basic listing management rules. Um, so the first question you're going to be asked is where would you like to manage Amazon Australia listings from? Um, so if you want to do all your management from within Neto, just leave it on that as the default. Otherwise, um, you can have the listings managed from within Amazon Seller Central and we'll just manage uh, orders for those listings. Uh, finally, um, on this uh, page, do you want to enable field value rounding? Uh, so Amazon have uh, got limits in, to, in, in, in relation to specific uh, fields. So for example, uh, in Nito, you might have a product width of 12.576 meters, um, and Amazon might only support two decimal places for that. Uh, so the Nito platform will automatically round that to 12.58 meters. So if you want our platform to automatically uh, round uh, uh, values to match what Amazon requires, um, just leave that enable field route, uh, value rounding uh, to, to enabled and um, it'll do that for you. You don't, you, you can have the system uh, not round any of your values if you choose for it not to though. So once you've defined some basic listing management rules, um, you'll then define some product pricing rules. So again, uh, you don't have to have Nito manage your Amazon uh, pricing. You can have your pricing managed from within Amazon Seller Central. And you may want to do that if you want to use a pricing automation tool. Uh, we do have a pricing automation add-on that integrates with Nito. So if you were to use that add-on, um, then you would have Nito manage the pricing and our system will automate uh, the, the uh, pricing management for you. Um, you can also, with our platform, select which price group in Nito you want to use for Amazon. So, for example, if you want to have an Amazon-specific price, uh, you can use our customer group or price group feature. Um, you can name that price group Amazon, and then you can select that price group as the price group that you'll be using uh, for your Amazon listing. So if you want to have a different price on Amazon than you do for your own web store, this is how you would do it. How, however, we would highly recommend against uh doing that. Um, we believe that you should have price parity across all of your uh, sales channels. And in fact, I think you know a Amazon um, had the same feeling about that and potentially would penalize you for not having the same pricing across uh, all your channels. Um, you can also select whether or not you want your promotion pricing to be pushed through to Amazon. So if you have a, a promotion running on uh, Nido and you want that promo price to be reflected on Amazon, again, so that you have price parity across all of your sales channels, uh, then select uh, this tick box. You can then define some uh, stock uh, management rules. So again, do you want Nito to manage your stock? You can select uh, for stock not to be managed uh, by Nito. So in, in other words, you would manage your stock in Amazon Seller Central. Um, and then you can select uh, whether you want all your stock or a limited quantity of stock to be listed uh, to Amazon. If you select a limited quantity, you can define your stock limit quantity. Again, we would recommend listing all your stock. Um, and then you can also define a stock buffer um, so you may want to put a buffer of one or two items just to ensure that you 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 do not oversell through any of your particular sales uh, channels, which can lead to a negative customer experience. Finally, um, as step five, you want to define some shipping rules. So this is where you would map shipping options that you have set up in Nito to Amazon options. So in Amazon, you'll be able to set up a standard and an expedited shipping option. And here you can map those options uh, to Nito uh, shipping options that you have uh, set up so that uh, when a sales order uh, is entered into your Nito control panel from Amazon, the correct uh, shipping option is selected. And finally, you, you can define your, your handling time. So this is the number of days between receiving um, an order uh, for a customer's uh, uh, products um, and the time it takes you to, to ship it out. Finally, you want to review these settings um, before completing the setup. So this is just a quick summary of what you've selected. Um, and then you can complete the Amazon Australia setup. So, so that's essentially it. You've now linked um, your Neto control panel to your um, Amazon uh, Seller Central account. And now you can start listing your products uh, to Amazon. And that's what I'm going to go through next, which is Amazon uh, product registration. So the way Amazon works is that um, there's a single listing for each unique uh, product on Amazon. And then you as a seller link your inventory to that uh, individual uh, listing. If your 
if that listing or that product or unique product doesn't already exist on Amazon, uh, then you need to register that product uh, with Amazon to create that first listing of the product. Now, if you uh, sell your own brand of goods, um, you're an importer and distributor for a particular brand, for example, uh, then uh, there's a very good chance that that product will not exist on Amazon Australia and you'll need to register the listing. And that's what we'll go through today. So to make um, listing registration uh, simple and to negate the need for you to list each product uh, one by one or register each product one by one, we have this concept of mapping. So that is mapping your NITO inventory uh, to Amazon. And this is in, in two simple steps. So the first step is mapping your categories. So that's the product categories you have set up in NITO to Amazon's uh, product category tree. And the second step is then mapping your product fields in NITO to Amazon specific product fields. So the first step, like I said, is, is category mapping. Um, so from your menu, now that you've installed Amazon Australia, you'll note there's a category mapping link that you can click through to, to get into setting up category mapping. You can also click through to, um, from your Amazon uh, Australia dashboard um, to get through to the category mapping page. So open the category mapping page here. And the first uh, thing that the system is going to ask me to do is select uh, the NITO categories that I want to actually sell on Amazon. So the categories of products that I want to sell on Amazon. So in this example, for example, I'm going to list everything from my furniture, dining chairs uh, category. So I add this category. And then the system will ask me to map that category to a related Amazon uh, category. So this is essentially Amazon's category uh, tree. So I'm going to select home. I'm going to select uh, furniture. I'm going to select uh, dining room furniture. And then I'm going to select um, dining chairs. So now the products that, that are listed in Nito's furniture dining chairs category will be listed to the Amazon category home furniture dining room furniture, dining chairs. So I'll use that category and save my changes. So ongoing now, any product that I approve to sell on Amazon in Nito that sits in the dining chairs category will be automatically listed to that related category on Amazon. And we'll go through that step in a moment. But there is one step that I need to do before this all happens, and that is my product field mapping. That's telling Amazon what fields in NITO are related to what fields in Amazon. And these fields and the required fields will change depending on the categories that you list to on Amazon. That's why it's important that you do your category mapping first, because the categories that you select to sell on, on Amazon through will determine the product fields uh, that you need to populate. So again, from my menu, I now go to product field mapping. And obviously, if I had more categories that I wanted to sell into on Amazon, I'll just keep adding them on that previous page. And so now I go to Amazon Australia product field mapping. So you'll see here I've got product fields and I've got category specific product fields. So product fields are fields that are relevant to every uh, product that I was and every category that I would want to sell uh, on in Amazon. So I've got my core fields. So these are core product fields, such as product name and description. Now the system will automatically map fields for you. So it's auto selected, for example, uh, UPC uh, to map to product ID on Amazon. It's automatically selected product name in, in, in Amazon to map to name in Nido. Product description on Amazon to map to description in Nido. Shipping template. Um, I can also select a specific Nido field if I want to, if I want to define a specific shipping template on Amazon, which is not required. Um, now, because um, these fields are the same for all Nido customers, we have, as you just saw, uh, automatically mapped related fields already for you. However, you do have the ability to go here. And for example, if I didn't want uh, name in Nido to be used for product name on Amazon, I could create a custom name. I could create a custom field in Nido, for example, called Amazon product name, and then I could map that name instead if I wanted to. Then I've got under here category specific product fields. So category specific product fields uh, are defined by my selection of category in this prior step. So I can see here for home, uh, furniture and decor, um, they, there is a category, there are some category specific fields. So unique to furniture and decor, decor um, are these fields here. And I can define 
related NITO fields. So obviously, uh, the more fields that you map and the more data that you're providing to Amazon, the higher quality uh, listing you're creating, which will greatly improve uh, the chances of that listing being found by consumers and you winning the buy box. So we would we would uh, recommend uh, that you do map as many fields um, as possible and create unique fields where possible. Now, um, Brittany mentioned earlier, and I sort of skipped um, over it, um, and that was what uh, what she called, um, I guess, key product features or the bullet points that appear on your Amazon listings. Um, these are really important fields, and we would highly recommend populating key product features for every one of your products. Um, and so you can uh, do that through this interface. So you could create custom fields uh, for Amazon, for example, you create a field called key product feature one, key product feature two, and then you could map those um, using the mapping tool that we have here so that when you list a product to Amazon, it will use the data in that field when it creates uh, the listing. Okay, so once you've finished uh, mapping your product fields and your category specific product fields, uh, creating listings on Amazon is really simple. You simply go to your product manager. So view all products, for example. And from within the product manager in Nito, you can select to approve products uh, to list to Amazon. So you can do this in bulk or you can do it one by one. So from the product listing page, I could, for example, select this chair down here and then approve that product for Amazon Australia. So now that I've approved that product for Amazon Australia, Based on the settings that I defined during the setup wizard, the platform will register and list that product with Amazon Australia. Um, once uh, the system has listed the product with Amazon Australia, you'll be able to see the status of that listing from your Amazon um, Australia listings page. This is a sample listings page that I've got up here. And you can see a list of all uh, products that are listed uh, to Amazon Australia, as well as the, the status of those uh, listings, uh, when it was last synced, uh, et cetera. There's also links through to the individual listings and even links through to the listing within your sell uh, Amazon Seller Central um, account um, as well. If uh, there is a problem with listing a particular item, so for example, the data in uh, your product uh, fields is not valid for Amazon Australia, um, those errors will be displayed from within this uh, listing management uh, page and then you can uh, rectify the the error and the next time the system syncs with amazon australia it will resolve that issue for you and hopefully you'll get a success uh, message under the the sync uh, status so the listing uh, process does work a little bit differently to some of our other marketplace integrations in that uh, the way it works with amazon australia is we push you know, in bulk your product data to Amazon, um, and then over time they respond uh, with a success or failure message, um, which again you'll be able to see under the sync status um, section within your Amazon Australia listings page. So um, you can't in real time, I guess, create a listing. Instead, the system will in bulk push listings, and then in time you'll get a response from Amazon to whether or not that product was successfully registered. Uh, or not. Once a product is successfully registered, um, the system will continue to maintain that product on Amazon. So as your stock uh, levels change, so as you add or, or remove uh, stock from the system, it'll increase or decrease the quantity of stock available on Amazon. If you change a product's price in Nito, again, it will automatically change uh, the product's price um, on on Amazon. And like I said earlier, uh, when a sale happens from within your Amazon uh, account, um, that sale will be automatically pushed into your control panel and you'll be able to pick, pack um, and process that sale directly from within uh, Nito as you would any other, um, any other sale for any other channel using the same shipping methods that you would uh, for other channels. And uh, once you ship the item, Nito will push up the shipping status, the tracking information uh, to Amazon, um, who will then notify the customer of the shipment status.
So pretty straightforward, as you can see, the steps are simple. Uh, the first step is to link your Nido account to Amazon Australia. The next step is to do your category mapping, uh, your product field mapping, and then approve uh, products to be listed. Um, I did mention that you can approve products in bulk or one by one through the product interface. Probably also worthwhile mentioning that you can also bulk import um, changes uh, to a product's approval status. So if you want to import uh, you want to approve all your products at once to be listed on Amazon, uh, you can import a CSV file or an XML file uh, to approve them in bulk. You can also do this through our API if, if you choose to do so. Um, so that's that's really it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you do have any questions about how to register your products with Amazon Australia, please check out our support uh, documentation. There's a video that goes through this process from start uh, to finish as well as um, supporting uh, documentation as well.